Chancellor Philip Hammond will deliver his first budget to the House of Commons on Wednesday the 8th of March. But don't expect any big surprises or rabbits, as the Westminster parlance goes, from the man they call Spreadsheet Phil. Expected to be boring, drab and unexciting, the economic statement, which is being moved to autumn later this year, is set for 12.30pm. It will also be the first budget since the UK voted to split from the EU in June. Hammond backed Remain ahead of the historic ballot, but the senior Conservative has been more and more optimistic about the UK split from the EU and his speech will come just weeks, maybe even days, before Theresa May invokes Article 50 of the Lisbon Treaty and triggers the two-year-long Brexit negotiations. So, what will Mr Hammond be wielding in his red box? The Chancellor is expected to spend £500 million on skills training for 16 to 19 year olds in a bid to tackle the UK's productivity puzzle by increasing young people's technical knowledge. Elsewhere, Hammond is expected to set aside £320 million for May's schools revolution with plans for 140 new free schools creating 70,000 places. That's on top of the 500 schools already promised to be created by the end of the Parliament in 2020. Hammond, meanwhile, may break a Conservative Party manifesto promise not to raise income, VAT or national insurance taxes. That's because the Chancellor is facing more and more pressure from across the House of Commons to spend more money on social care. Appearing on ITV's Peston on Sunday show, Hammond failed to rule out reports claiming that he's found an extra £1 billion to use on social care. Business rates have also hit the headlines recently, with the government expected to U-turn over a planned hike in the levy after warnings from small and medium-sized companies. With that said, make sure to check us out on Facebook, Twitter and of course at ibtimes.co.uk for all your budget-related news and analysis.